All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode on our S14. And today we're going through, I'm a little bit sweaty right now. I've been cleaning the thing out, trying to get it to look good. So actually I'll show you real quick. You guys will see in a minute from some of the time lapses but going through we actually bug bombed it uh, i think it was three times there you go and uh it, it, the first time i did it there was still some stuff crawling and moving in there so lit off the next one and then i was like well i got another one so we might as well do it so three of them in there that seemed like it wiped everything out and then i just had to go in and vacuum all these ants up and all the other crap that's been in this car so I want to show you guys few people are asking about the old carpet oh, big bug all right let's take a look at it so obviously there's a big stain here um, probably could be taken out uh, but over here by the driver's side there are some rips and actually there's still some ants but there's rips here and a few I think there's another spot that's ripped but it's uh maybe we'll try and clean it up and sell it i don't know we'll see how it does we'll power wash it and then the trunk carpets we're going to power wash those and see how they look so do want to show you we did get in the new carpet and let me grab the box real quick all right so i got the box and it was um what is it auto custom carpets inc which i actually ordered from uh, what was the name of the place stockinteriors.com I think it's like one of the first things you type in it comes up um, but yeah this is the box that came in and here is the actual carpet um, it looks really good uh, has all the same OEM things underneath it there are some wrinkles in it but you are supposed to leave it outside in the Sun a nice warm spot to kind of get its shape back uh, a few people said um, there's it's not actually cut for any of the holes like the other one is so you'll need to put it in and you're gonna have to test fit it back and forth which I'm fine with I think out the door it was like two hundred and three dollars so I'm gonna continue to get this car cleaned up because it is filthy inside so working on that and you'll see some time lapses here in a minute of us doing that and then we'll go ahead and we'll switch the carpet in and out and trying to get it to fit and uh, I think it's gonna come out good pretty happy with this but I guess we'll see once we fit it so let's get keep bleh, can't even speak let's get to cleaning <laughs> So we got the interior cleaned up the best I could. Take a look, and it looks, in my opinion, about 10,000 times better than it did, especially with no ants now. So I should have a old video of me coming in from right here and looking at it and seeing all the ants. So I'll insert that here. Look at this. Holy God! <laughs> They're everywhere. Jesus Christ! 
and now let's go ahead and try and fit this carpet in there so my game plan is what's my game plan um i think i'm going to put it in just to start with see how it fits then probably pull it right back out and i think our main two things we'll have to get or figure out is the spot for the e-brake to come through and then something with the console up here so it looks like those are uh, riveted in so i can't unbolt that uh i might be able to unbolt there and kind of slide it in or we just cut a u in it so let's get in here a little further so either a u shape to fit around here or we'll unbolt these two and cut a hole and then just drop it over which would probably be the best but probably be a lot harder to do so Let's go ahead and test fit it, probably get the e-brake cut first, and then we'll start worrying about that. All right, new plan of attack, because as soon as you put it in, obviously the e-brake is just completely in the way, so we need to get that through the carpet. So what I'm thinking is we have these uh, supports, I guess, and I can see where they are, and our e-brake is just a little bit back from that so I'm thinking since we have these same pieces molded into the carpet should be able to right about there cut a hole in it and we should be able to slide that in at least and this back session should fit these will kind of fit and then this part will be like up against the dash and then we'll have to work about the or work around this tunnel so let's try we'll cut it here first and just see how that works and then slide it in hopefully we get this cut right hole cut for there which I think we'll need to extend a little bit forward this uh, this molded spot here is a little bit far back so we need to push this forward a little more um, kind of you can see uh, that side over there seems to be fitting in pretty good this side is going to be interesting because the wiring harness is running to the back so I got this big fat wire here I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet whether or not I'll have it hook out of the carpet I don't know so now we gotta deal with this front section. This needs either like a nice U, or I'd rather cut a hole and then stretch it underneath because I think that'll fit so much better and not have the carpet falling off each side. So we're making some progress. And once we get a dash and everything here, she's gonna look like a freaking sweet little car. So let's take it out. I'm gonna look at the area under there and kind of make a call where I wanna cut it. So took those two bolts out and instead of taking the whole dash thing out, I just kind of bent those two pieces out. Sorry, I zoomed out, focused on my finger. Um, but yeah, just bent these out and we're gonna slide the carpet in and hopefully be in the right spot. And then we can trim a little more and actually tuck the carpet underneath the dash. That'll hopefully keep everything like against the tunnel. Um, and the more I'm looking at everything with this wiring harness, I'm thinking I might just tear out the wiring for everything and then rewire the whole car just because I don't really know what's going on with everything. Definitely keep all the plugs, try and use try and use some of the OEM harness plugs to make everything look better, but I already rewired the car for the S13, so I'm thinking maybe just do it for this too and uh, that way we can do a little walkthrough of how to wire it and I could do a better tutorial on that for the panels, so I don't know, just a thought, but Let's go ahead and fit this carpet and hopefully it'll slide in and I didn't just cut that hole in the wrong spot.
All right, so carpet is kind of test fit in. This side uh, fits pretty great. Uh, we'll have to, there's still a bunch of, uh, you know, there are seat bolt holes, seat for the back here. So we'll find those and probably just feel them out and then push a screwdriver through so we get the right placement of them. It took a while, jump in here, working with this. I guess I cut a little bit too far back, but that should be okay. I um, kind of got it cut out so it fits. It seems like the middle has like a little bit extra to make everything tight, which I'm completely fine with because the center console is gonna go over the top of it so I can literally just pinch it up underneath there and uh, it should fit good. We'll cut out our hole for our shifter, which is actually right here. So that'll be cut out. And honestly, this side only fits bad because of the all the wiring that's underneath there otherwise I think it would honestly fit pretty good so overall pretty happy with this carpet it'll just take a little bit of time to work everything get everything behind all the panels and then cutting all the holes it's a little long under here which is fine we'll trim that but I'm glad that I got to keep the carpet going underneath there so kind of tucked it under and actually now we'll be able to put these supports, sorry, these supports back in. And uh, I say probably gonna throw the dash in and then also probably throw in the back seat, just kind of get a full little look at it and comparison to what it was when I got it and now with almost a full interior. All right, so the neighbors are playing lots of loud music next door. So if I tried to shoot outside and talk to you, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Plus there's songs playing in the background. So let's go over what we got so far. I went ahead and put in a bunch of the interior um, just so it looked more complete. Uh, we got the carpet in and honestly, I am so happy with how this fit. Most people said that uh, they don't fit great and uh, and all that, but you could see down the, the, pa the passenger side, everything looks really good on that side. That's because there's not a bunch of wires under there. On the driver's side, we have basically a lot of wires and thick, thick looms running underneath there, and that's kind of why it doesn't fit great. So I'm not sure if I'm going to take that out to make everything fit better. Still have to trim along the sides to make everything fit underneath the sills. That's super easy. Once I get everything kind of situated, I can trim that back and make it fit. Um, in the center, it seems like the tunnel has a little bit extra, so basically I'll just kind of pull it tight in the middle and that'll just, it'll be hidden underneath the center console. But overall, I want to say that I uh, really like the uh, carpet that we got for this. I think the aftermarket carpet fits great. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, the OEM's the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah it probably fits better, but honestly, with the way the one, that one looks versus this, I am so happy with it. And once uh, seats are in and everything, you probably won't even notice um, that it's not an OEM carpet. So I'm gonna end this one here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you're looking for carpet, I would really suggest stock interiors. I think it came out great. I made two cuts and it already fits pretty dang good. There'll be a couple more cuts to do and uh, it should be, should be really good. So if you're looking for carpet, make sure you uh, check them out. And uh, I'm gonna end it here for this one since there's not much left to do. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends.